Jacqueline, John Doherty's attorney tells me he believes Johnny Doc is already back at home. He will be supervised by court officers until that trial in May on completely different charges. The union calls this persecution, not prosecution. The U.S. attorney begs to differ. These charges, as alleged, represent an abuse of power and a sense of entitlement which crossed the line. Announcing charges of extortion, the acting U.S. attorney in Philadelphia claimed IBEW union boss John Doherty, better known as Johnny Doc, used his power to help his nephew Gregory Fioka, a union electrician. John Doherty and Gregory Fioka used force and violence and threats of violence and economic harm to extort salary payments for Fioka from an electrical contracting firm as payment for work Fioka did not actually perform. According to the indictment, Johnny Doc's nephew, Fioka, got paid for what he worked, which was less than 40 hours. But the nephew pushed back, telling the project manager, You think you are untouchable. I'll break all of you. I'll break your face. Later, Fioka allegedly grabbed him by the throat, threw him on a desk, and threatened him with further violence. Federal prosecutors say Doherty himself then got involved. Doherty is alleged to have threatened that he would no longer allow local 98 electricians working for that company to work overtime. That he would force the company to operate three shifts of electricians on the job. That he would potentially pull all electricians from the company's job site, and that he might just try to prevent the company from securing another large job in Philadelphia. By phone, I listened to Doherty's arraignment, who told the judge he was not guilty of the crimes. In a statement, his lawyer says in part, We are both surprised and disappointed by these charges, surprised by the bringing of charges such as these, and disappointed that John was arrested in the early morning and taken out of the home he shares with his very ill wife. This comes as Johnny Doc is awaiting trial in May on other federal charges, including embezzlement and theft of over $600,000 in union funds to pay for personal expenses. A judge will hear these new charges separately. No one should fear economic reprisal or physical violence simply for attempting to do honest business in Philadelphia. Union business is no exception. Now, as for Gregory Fioka, it's unclear if he has a lawyer. This is something we've been working to track down. The union believes he may have a public defender. On a final note, we should disclose there are some employees at NBC10 who are IBEW union members. Reporting live outside of the federal courthouse at 6 and Market, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News.